Hi everybody, it's Stephanie aka Business Chic Mama and today I'm going to show you how to make gorgeous graphics on Canva with little or no experience in graphic design. Canva is a super easy platform and website to use. It's a great tool for you to use in your business even if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, as you can see, I have created some amazing graphics for my businesses, everything from Pinterest pins to Amazon photos to um, here is a, uh, this is a graphic for a uh, logo. I've got um, just uh, lists and you know, it just goes on and on. Here's a Pinterest uh, pin. And um, as you can see, I just have just about everything. These are actually some uh, printables and even some Facebook ads, uh, covers for Facebook ads, covers for YouTube videos, you name it. So I use Canva all the time and so can you. So the first thing you wanna do is go to canva.com and create your user account. After you create your account, you're going to go to create a design and we're not going to use custom dimensions. We're going to go to create a design because there's already pre-made templates there. Most likely you'll be using one of those. Let's go ahead and go to um, a Twitter post. And so the size is already pre-made for you. So you don't have to worry about sizing it to the correct size for Twitter's um, feed. And let's go ahead and we're going to scroll down and we have free versions and paid versions of already pre-made templates. So this one looks really cool. Let's go ahead and push this one on and um, you already are good to go if you're happy with everything with this particular layout, but um, we're not going to choose Sunday Market. We're going to choose up changing the actual font and the words. So when you want to change something up, there's different elements here. We have a background in this image. So if I click on the background, that is the background. You can change that. And we're not going to do that right now. We like this background. You can change it to different photos or uploads. But for now, we're just going to do a real simple edit. You have this element here. If I click it on, this is the actual uh, font and color. And then in the background, if you, I clicked on this third element, this is the orange rectangle behind it. So you can, let's see if you didn't want this orange rectangle behind it, um, you can just erase it and you are good to go. If you want to redo that, just click on undo and that will pop back up. So let's say you want to change um, the wording here. Go ahead and highlight it and just go ahead and start typing. So I'm gonna put, um, you know, healthy and happy. Okay, that is it. I have just changed this um, layout to suit and be custom to my Twitter post. And I'm gonna go ahead up here and I'm going to share it. Um, you're gonna to go to social and you can choose one of these two. I do not have my accounts connected, but that's what you would do and you would push share now. You can also um, in, copy this link and put it in, let's say you have a blog post and you wanted to share this, you can put this through a link or you can embed it in um, one of your uh, websites. So uh, if you do not want to share it, you go to download and you have four different choices of files. Um, you can choose a JPEG, a PNG, a PDF standard, or a PDF print. What is the difference between all of those? Well, actually, PNG is a universal file. Most likely, you're going to be downloading it in a PNG format. Um, sometimes, like for instance, uh, with Amazon, you need a JPEG file. Otherwise, the PNG will not come up. I will not be able to access it. And um, PDF is if you do want to send this to, let's say you have a postcard that you want to send to a printer, or if you do want to personally print it out on your own home printer, you would want to push PDF print, which is, stands for um, uh, portable document file, and that will be able to, you will be able to send to somebody. Okay. So now that we went over that, let's go ahead and change up. On this one, we're going to change up the color. And you do that by highlighting it. And you're going to go up here, 
click on the color icon and we're going to change this one actually to this really pretty turquoise and you are good to go. So that's the first way that you can do a pre-existing layout. Our next one we're going to hop over and do a layout um, just from scratch. So if you click on the top left where it says Canva, this is going to be automatically saved. You don't have to worry about it. It saves it every few seconds. So as you can see here, it's generating a preview and it will be good to go. You can go back here and get on to, you know, if you double click it, you can get back onto it to make additional changes, but we're not going to do that right now. Okay. So go ahead and go back to your designs and we're going to go ahead and create a new design again. Let's click on more and this time we're going to create a, um, we're going to create a card. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually create a, um, as you can see, these are all layouts here, which are wonderful, but we're going to create a brand new a from scratch layout. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at some different elements, text, and backgrounds, and uploads. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a layout that is going to be um, like a grid style, which is going to have three different sections. So let's go ahead and click on elements. Um, the elements here, we've got free photos, grids, frames, shapes, lines, illustrations, icons, charts, and I love Canva. Now all of these things I suggest you just play around with. If you click on them, you're going to see different things that you can pop up and insert into your um, graphic. Um, some are free and some are paid. You can also search images. Let's say you're looking for, um, you know, sunglasses and let's see what comes up with sunglasses. You have free and paid versions as you can see. Um, just so many wonderful things you can um, just create. So let's go ahead back to elements. We're going to push grids. Uh, let's go ahead and when you see grids, that is where you can put two or more different elements in sections. And I'm going to go ahead and just choose this real simple one right here. And that's going to be with two different sections. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a photo on the left hand side. So you're going to click on the left hand side and you're going to go, we're going to go over to um, free photos. Now you can also choose um, down here, if you click on uploads, you can choose on one of your own photos from your computer. If you just click on upload your own image, that will go ahead and click on one of your, you know, from your computer. But we're not going to do that for this, for this um, tutorial. Let's go ahead back to elements. And here's some free photos. You can also, you know, pick a category, but there's so many awesome, awesome photos here. We're going to go ahead and choose one of these. I'm going to look for something that's a little more of the, from like a vertical layout. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and choose this one right here. And if you just slide it right in, it will pop in. Okay, so what we're going to do now is if you would like to change this white um, space to a different color, you can go ahead and push background and that will change this, this little space right here. So let's go ahead and see what um, some of the different versions are. Let's see. Oops, we don't, yeah, there's like a, a really pretty, like a mauvey gray color. So we're going to use that one for now. And then we're going to go ahead and click onto the right final panel and we're going to add just a simple um, color background. So what we're going to do here is we don't want a print background. We're going to just click on up to the top and we're going to use um, actually just a solid white background. Okay, so looking good so far, we're going to add some text now. Let's go ahead and click on our text button. And as you can see here, are there some great layouts you can choose. If I clicked on, let's say for instance, this one, we can just go ahead and it will automatically, um, you know, put this wonderful layout for us all ready to go. And we would just edit it with either color or our font size or font um, style. So um, let's go ahead and see if we want to, we can even rotate this 
um, with this little um, rotator button right there. So let's go ahead and erase that. Click on it, erase it. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to delete this element. Actually, it's going to delete group because there's a bunch of them there. Okay, let's go ahead and just add a heading. And we're going to put something real simple. And let's just go ahead and put peace in the world. Okay. Let's say you want to go ahead and resize this. You're just going to highlight it and you're going to choose on the, the, um, the actual different, you know, whatever size you want for this. And let's say we don't like this particular font. We're going to highlight again and we are going to choose the one that we want. And let's scroll down and we're going to do, um, we're going to choose, let's do like this one right here. So your new font will, style will pop up and you can also stretch it out and we've got this one right here. And now to the right, we're going to add, um, you know, a really pretty, let's do a nice color, no, I mean, a, sorry, a um, element. So let's go ahead and add. Let's go ahead and add, uh, let's go back to elements again, and let's go ahead and click on that, and we're going to put in an illustration here. And let's see if there's any illustrations that might look good here. You know, we've got these gorgeous florals and flowers. Let's go ahead and do like a floral print right here. And we can resize this just by, you know, finding the arrow with both ends and resizing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this and I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit more and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the photo and then I'm going to duplicate it. And the way you do that is click on it and you're going to put copy. Okay, push copy. We're going to rotate it and that one's going to kind of frame um, frame this. Now again, you know, I'm not really putting a lot of thought into, you know, designing this. I just wanted to show you the wonderful things that you can do with, um, in just five minutes time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create one more thing. I'm going to add one more text and I'm going to go to the top here, double click it, and I'm going to type in, um, and I'm just going to put this real small, real subtle, and I'm just going to stick this over here. And let's go ahead and choose a different color for this one. Let's go ahead and choose one of the palette colors that we pulled up from here. And let's go ahead and do that right there. So uh, this just needs to be a tiny bit smaller. And let's go ahead and add one more element. We're going to add a, um, a line here. Now lines you would just um, click on whichever line that you think looks interesting. You can frame things, arrows, scrolls. Actually I think a scroll might be really pretty. Let's go ahead and add the scroll. We're going to shrink it down and we're going to change the color. Let's go ahead and change the color to um, this one right here. Okay. Um, make it a little bit bigger. And let's move it, move this up just a hair. And, um, you know, again, this is a real simple tutorial of what you can do, but, um, I'm going to change this one here to a different font. I don't like that one too much. But as you can see, you can just do amazing things so easily. Let's make this just a little bit larger. Okay, and then when we're happy with this, we're good to go. We will go ahead and share it or download it. And, um, you know, again, you can erase elements. 
you can copy elements, you can arrange things to the back or the front. Let's say if you wanted to put this behind, let's say this always, you want, don't want it on top, you want to arrange it behind, you would just click on it and then push arrange back. And then that will go behind your element, but um, that is that. If you want something spaced, let's say if you have this and you want to space it out for your line height, then you would choose this, and um, so that would be another uh, option to move your text around, and that's it. So what you need to also know is that, um, you know, every time that you uh, save, you know, you're working on this, it does go back and save it. So you don't have to worry about anything getting lost if you make a mistake. And um, it's that's a really how easy Canva is to use. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you go and make some amazing things for your business or your personal use. And you become that awesome graphic designer that I know that she has is hiding inside of you. In the meantime, I hope that you uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead, click that like button, turn on uh, notifications, video, no video notifications so you can receive all of my tutorials in the future. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below. Until next time, I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I will speak to you in the next video.